That's some good coffee. Needs to be a little darker though. I made it how I said to make it. It's uh, two tablespoons, two and a half tablespoons per six ounces of water, but it's not enough. It's, I can taste the water in it. So, it needs to be darker, but it's still good. Great coffee. Walmart sells it now. That's why I bought some last night. $20 a bag. It's expensive. <laughs> Pretty nice LED bulbs. Comes with a little uh, pry kit dingy tool, my jig. That you use to pop off the panels. The lights look like Legos. <laughs> Literally, look like Legos. You could probably build a spaceship out of this stuff. I think there's a Lego that looks exactly like that. Take away the metal pieces and it's just a Lego. Let's see, a little spaceship, boom. <laughs> Anyways, these are what we're going to be putting in the Tahoe today. All these lights, I don't know which goes where. We're just gonna start popping panels off and find out. Um, they're all pretty similar. I have an idea of where most of them go. Um, I think these probably go in the dome light, one of the dome lights. These are probably for the doors. And these, I have no idea where they go. Hmm, I guess we'll find out. Let's get to it, guys. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are installing these premium LED lights. And uh, the company is from Extreme Vision. So I guess we'll see how they work. I've heard a lot of good things about them. They're supposed to be really bright. So that's what I'm looking for. I'm trying to modernize the Tahoe a little bit more on the inside. So this is um, like the second step to modernizing it. I'll show you the other step right now. This right there was the first step to modernizing it. I was gonna make a video on it, but it got really dark and I was really impatient. So I've got it completely hooked up. It's a Kenwood uh, DMX 7706, I believe. It's a great stereo. It has backup cameras. Oh, turn that off so I don't get uh, demonetized. Anyways, it has backup camera capable. I don't have the backup cameras, so if anybody wants to give me something for Christmas, I will definitely take some backup cameras. <laughs> also, I need to buy like the video modules so I can hook my phone up to it for video and stuff. Pretty cool though, pretty cool. I'm super happy with it. It took a long time before I was able to get a stereo so i'm going to make a review video on this in another video so stay tuned for that it's a great stereo a lot of functions a lot of features super happy to have it like so happy so grateful because this is my first touch screen stereo ever and i have to say it's a great experience it's a super fast one um definitely didn't definitely wasn't too cheap but it was worth it so Definitely uh, something I didn't have buyer's remorse after I bought it. There was no buyer's remorse, so so I didn't mess up. Because sometimes I get buyer's remorse when I start buying stuff. But anyways, I think what we're going to do real fast is, since we're going to be sitting in the truck, it's been sitting overnight, it's cold outside. I'm going to go ahead and start the truck, let it warm up before we go ahead and work on it, just to make sure the battery doesn't die. Oh, that cold start though. Sounds amazing. Also, guys, I caused a boo boo on the truck yesterday. Kind of made me mad. So, I know I never uploaded the video on the tire lettering. I, uh, I still might, but it's a boring video. And I don't want to bore you guys. Like, I mean, all it is is me painting the tire. Lettering. So I'm going to make something out of it, but that isn't this. So um, that video might come up before this one. I don't know. But anyways, uh, yeah. So I hit the curb, hit the ram, messed up the tire. Ah, it was kind of my fault, but it just kind of wasn't my fault. So I mean, I mean, it was my fault, but anyways, I will talk about that probably in another video. Anyways, let's go ahead and get to removing these lights, and uh, I'm not sure exactly where all the light, different lights go, so we're going to have to start uh, figuring it out. This is before and after, guys. 
I should have did a before and after at night, but it's okay. I want to go ahead and get this done. I got to go to work today, so uh, I got like a couple hours to get this done. Shouldn't take very long. Should have everything I need, hopefully. Right, so the first thing I'm going to do is pop this door off because my wire popped back inside the door, so I got to take it off to find it. I tried to take that off and stick my hand down there, but I don't see it anywhere, so I'm going to go ahead and take this off and then um, find that. So, all right, guys, I was able to get to the wire. Um, LED light does work. It's kind of hard to do this video with um, one hand, so I'm gonna have to like show you bits and pieces and then uh, get back to you because I can't really hold the camera and plug the light in because every time I try to just put this in with one hand, it pops out. So I'm showing you just bits and pieces as I go. So there's one light down. Um, you can't even see it. So, yeah. I'm gonna definitely have to. Um, by the cover for that definitely pretty bright I know you can't really tell because of daylight but like get up close let's go ahead and uh, do the rest of them I'm gonna get this door back together first hey right, guys I was able to find this wire without popping uh, the whole door off so what I'm gonna do is the same thing I did on the other one I'm gonna pop this out and feed the wire through it And get the wire fed through. Go ahead and dump these out. Grab another one of these. And then I'll just put it in there. It goes in a certain way. So there we go. That one's in. Looking good. Now let's go ahead and jump to the back. I'm not sure does that have a light in it? It does. So that one has a light. So let me go ahead and believe the cover for that light broke and then I think I have it though but it's it's white and this one's red I don't, I don't know why but go ahead and pop this one off and there's literally no light there so this whole time I thought there was a light there that doesn't make sense because there's a light on that one and the wire is not in it so I think the wire is probably down inside that door too. When I got this truck, it never had the lights in it there. So it had, it only had the lights in the doors and the ceiling. So I probably won't worry about that then for now. Cause I don't, I've never taken the back doors off. I know it's simple, but um, I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm gonna order new covers and stuff. And then uh, probably worry about getting the light hooked up then. Guys come into the back now. Um, Go ahead and try to pop this off. I'm not sure. I don't think I've ever taken this one off. Oh, look, there's a little thing right here. Ah, there we go. Got that off. It's definitely a good thing about upgrading to LED lights, guys, is these get hot and they use a lot of they use a lot of energy. The LED lights don't, so um there's one. There's two. See the difference? Like, I know it's hot. I'm going to try to hopefully not break it. Because that would suck. Oh, there we go. Nice. Alright, I got it popped out. It's not too hot, but warm enough. I'm guessing it's these small ones right here. And there was four of them. I'm not sure what... I'm going to pop that panel off too real fast to see what kind it uses i would imagine it's gonna use these ones i imagine but i don't know but before i put all the lights in the back because it's supposed to be an 18 piece kit so i mean i would think that it's enough i'll be back with you guys in just a second all right guys those go in there i believe or they can go in back i don't think it really matters actually but i think they are um they are specific polarities, so you have to put it in there a certain way in order to get it to work. So, pop this one out. Go ahead and just change these real fast since I'm already right here. So, let's see. Go ahead and turn this on and try trying to do it with one hand. You guys can't see anyways. Alright, it's not working, so take it. Flip it around. Oh, 
Now I lost the polarity. That's not it. There we go. <laughs> I lost the polarity again. All right, guys. I'm going to have to use two hands, so you see how it goes. Oh, man, guys. What a difference that made. Look at that. That's nice color. Nice color, guys. So, you can go ahead and get the rest done. All right, guys. I lied. Um, well, the big square ones go there. They look really nice. But I didn't realize it had more. It had three more. So, I imagine they go in that one. So, because if you compare... If you compare this little small one next to that, I don't see no way that it would work. I mean, I guess it would still because the metal still touches. So I'm going to go ahead and put these squares in the back and just go from there. So let's go ahead and get to that. But so far, there's definitely a night and day difference. I'm super happy. You have to have these a certain polarity or whatever. It doesn't say... So just make sure when you do it, just make sure you turn your light on. And then you can check as you do that. There we go. Get that in there. Yeah, just make sure your light is on whenever you do it. That way you know. That way you know it's on right and you don't have to take it all back apart. Definitely a light, night and day difference. Alright guys, so to get these off, super simple. I don't know if I can do it with this thing actually. Um... Might have to get something smaller and stick it in there. I can't get it off with this tool, so I'm going to get a little screwdriver and uh, put it in there and uh, pop that out. And then we'll see. Hopefully, I don't have to take this whole thing off, but if I do, then I will. Guys, I got the covers off. kind of looks like the metal piece just pops out, but I don't know. I'm going to try to just pop it out. came out just like that. Nice, guys. Nice. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get this other one out and then... Get the lights in there and then I'll come back and show you guys. All right guys, got the metal off, got the light bulbs out. Cause I've read reviews about people um, that say that you have to drill out the metal, but you really do not. All you have to do is stick it up in there first and then you put the light in. Now with this light, since this button will not work, I have to take this off anyways in order to figure out how to because I don't know which polarity is which you know so I'll have to I have to fix that before I can put the light in and know which way it goes in so I'm gonna go ahead and take that off real fast it shouldn't take me very long all right guys to take this piece out all you got to do is uh, there's a screwdriver or not a screw there's a Phillips screw in there and in mine it just holds itself in there I don't have to worry about catching it and you just unscrew that and then it should just pop out from there. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop it out real fast. All right guys, um, it's all on there. I couldn't get that button fixed. There's a little spring mechanism in there that I tried to fix, but it, um, it's missing some other piece to it that it's not letting it. So like this one clicks and this one doesn't have that little spring. So it won't work, which is lame, but it's okay. I'm going to either, I'm going to do some research and figure out how to fix it. Or if one of you guys know, let me know in the comments below. I should have recorded some of it, but um, it's basically just two wires, one wire, one wire. And then there's this little round piece that has metal on each side of it. And when you press the button, it's supposed to go up and click that light and make that uh, power connection. And that's what turns it on and it doesn't have that little spring to actually click it. So that's all I can do for now. Other than that guys, all the lights are installed. Looking good, looking a lot better. So now I am going to, um, I'll just be back with you. I'll show you guys a little clip at night and then I'll end the video. Hope you guys enjoy your day and uh, thank you for watching as always guys. I will see you guys next time. So I just got home from work. I just wanted to show you what the lights look like at night and um yeah so let's go ahead i'm not using my tripod right now so can't really see the tahoe boom still can't really see i mean you can see through the tent but i like the way it looks now so and then open the door boom got the lighting down there got the lighting inside Looks pretty good guys, looks pretty good. Also, I installed this thing right here. A little USB port. 
I made a video on that. That'll be coming up soon as well. I just gotta get this video edited and another video. And then I'll edit the video for this and show you guys that. It's a little USB port with a voltage meter inside of it. Um, if you can see right there, pretty cool. Pretty cool. So, anyways guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the content and um, hope it helped you out. If you're looking for some lights, I definitely recommend these lights. Um, they're pretty good. I like them. So, that's, with all that being said guys, just hope you guys have a great night and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more stuff like this i definitely appreciate it and yeah guys later